Hi, it's the Malaysian girl Jean doing another Malaysian food. This time we are doing tose. The normal tose because tose actually got a lot of types lah. Alright, first of all, you need to have a cup of rice and put it in a bowl. And then a quarter cup of ulundu or yurit dal. This is the brand that I usually buy. And a teaspoon of fenugreek halba. And then you wash la. Wash it like how you would normally wash your rice. You can see here it's being washed about two or three times. And then put some water. Let them soak. Okay, you can see it's the rice, the ulundu, and a little bit of halba. Actually, not done yet. Yeah. The mix got to have a handful of cooked rice which was kept in the fridge. So I just take out a handful, satu genggam, and then just add them into the mix. Now move all the mix into the blender, like how this is done here, and add a little wee bit of water so that can blend properly lah. Now do take note that this blending process is gonna take a very bit while. Why am I talking about? It's gonna take quite a long while because we want to achieve super smooth pace. So means this one uh, if got sense can do it clear. Uh. Okay. If tose must be smooth. Okay. Uh, this one okay can do it. You see you can see right? The tose right? So need to blend. So what you saw was, it was a bit sandy, hence it's only good for idli, but not smooth enough for tose yet. Panas, you know. Hmm. Then, I skip to cool down the, the, the suhu. Okay lah. Okay. Because the blending process is long, it will get heated up. That's when you can add ice cubes. Finally, the texture is creamy and you don't feel sandy at all. That's when it's ready. Transfer the whole thing into a bowl and then add in salt to taste about half tablespoon like that lah. So you must use your hand. Huh? Hmm. So you must use your hands, not spoon, to mix well for a few minutes. Gao, 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 gao. Ah, here comes the magic. Usually people use yeast to make the bubbly effect on the batter. But here we have a secret weapon, which is uh, somewhat a healthier version, which is to break some dried chilies. Just break them half, don't break them all just half on the body and then put them into the batter here we are using four dried chilies uh, let the dried chilies rendam in the batter something like that and then put a cover on let it do its magic for 12 hours now 12 hours later ah, open the cover and take out those dried chilies that is when you can inspect how much bubbly, bubbly magic that the dried chilies has created. Look at them. Look at the batter. See, told you, no need yeast. Too much yeast is bad for our body, but this bubbly is created by the dried chili, so it's all good. Okay, find the flattest non-stick pan you have at home. And then heat them up. This pan is memang for tose la, okay? Cool them down with some splashes of water and then quickly put in the batter and then make a turn, turn, turn table. This one memang need a bit of practice to make it so beautiful la, huh? Okay, cover it up and then let it cook. Check in and when you see like you can see uh, the other side is brownish a little that's when it's ready and then you can take them out Ooh, shantex okay let's go through the process again cool down the pan with some splashes of water and then put in the batter and round and round to make a flat round piece like that and then cover it up and let it cook and when you see it's brownish that's when you can take it out now i mentioned that you find the flattest pan that you can find at home to do this because yes 
it's not necessary that you uh, need a tose pan for this what you can do is adjust the size of your tose if you do not have a proper tose pan you can adjust the tose size to a smaller circle that fits your pan the batter can be kept in the fridge for 5 days so you can take your time to finish it and here it is I am eating it with fish curry and coconut chutney so good it's so easy isn't it try it out yourself okay happy cooking please subscribe to my channel and follow me at Jin Bin Studio in Instagram